Hey guys, Lawrence here. I'm just going to uh, <coughs> show how to do a, um, a vector trace here. So changing an image into a vector in XCS and hopefully it's helpful to, to some people. So let's go. So here in XCS I'm just going to make a little <coughs> keychain. Uh, I got my design started here but I need to bring the logo of the company in. So I'm just uh, adjusting the size of the thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that image which I have on my desktop and I'm going to take it. Oops, I'm going to find it here. There it is. So I'm going to take this image and I'm just going to drag it in to XCS and I'll make that bigger. I'm going to scale it to fit. So the first step, this is an image. So if I left it like this here, uh, there's a lot of people that, that do leave it like this here. But then your settings, you got to figure out your dot duration and all that other stuff. So, and it's not as quick. It works really good for images, but this being a logo, it's easy to convert. So, so first thing I do is I go into edit image over here. And then I'm going to remove the background. And uh, we'll save it. So and then I trace the image. So I'm going to trace the image. So what I'm looking for is that the blue lines are around everything that's on the image. So I'm going to turn up the smoothness. I don't need to adjust anything else because it seems to have gotten the A, it's got the H, it's got everything. It's got the two separate red areas. I'm going to separate it by color and I'm going to click Save. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up because it made a trace. And I'm going to delete the original. And if I click on this and I click Engrave, it'll look just like the one that was there before. The difference is the settings now, I have speed and lines and power instead of dot duration that i got to figure out. And I can scale this to fit my design. So I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to uh, just move it down until it's about where I need it. I'm going to make this a little smaller. And we'll move that over. Just adjust my design and move these. Oops, oh, that's about right. Take those three, we're going to align them. There we go. Oh, it looks about right. All right, <clears throat> so one of the things that I noticed here is <coughs> layer four doesn't really have anything on it, so I'm going to delete that layer. All right, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to select layer three, which is these two, and we're going to engrave those in the infrared, and we're going to change that to 100, 300, and 300 lines, and we're going to score the, the denim. So we're going to score that with blue laser. We're going to do it at 100 power. And let's go 300 speed. And these ones here, we're going to engrave these. And we'll do these in blue light as well. 100, change this to 300. And uh, 300 lines. See how that goes. So let's make sure all the lines are the same, if there is any. So there we go, 100, 300. And uh, let's uh, frame this up here. So let's highlight all this and we'll frame it up. I'll be really close. So this is the item that we're going to be putting it on. I've already uh, focused it. It's in place. I'm just going to close the cover and we'll let it run. So it's going to process it. 
And this is what it says it's going to look like. There you go. I'm going to send it over. And let's go. There it is. It turns out really good. So, thanks for watching and hopefully that's that's helpful. Thanks.